This user can't condense her id- Oh, yeah, because I put it there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. I can't condense my identity in 300 characters or less. That was a ridiculous thing. However, if you go to, like, not my actual stream, but or my channel underneath there, and you read all, like, the descriptions, all of it's in there. It's just that that's, like, the dumb shit. I'm so amused. Yeah. I'm here. I'm going. So. <laughs> Alright, did I, am I even, like... Okay, cool. I'm not muted. I'm gonna mute myself while you watch the opening. probably warn you I made you a mod. I see that. Yep. Oh, the mic's gonna pick me up, so you should probably do chat only. Okay. changed my life. everybody else. Jesse the ninja. Oh, the first thing I have to do- Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me. Is it? Ah! Oh, okay. So, I can't stand the way the default controls are set up. I have to- See? I don't function that way. I have to change them. Wait, did it already take my custom ones? Hmm, okay. Okay. Ah, <laughs> stuck. Because <laughs> I'm not using the keyboard. So, um, I guess I'm... I'll have to fix it later. So, I'm probably totally gonna fuck everything up. Because it's not the default controls, or it's set to some weird controls that don't function the way I do. So as you can see, this is all like super remastered, so it looks prettier than the uh, version I have of my PSP and the PS1. However, the backgrounds don't look as great. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? So I find some of the, uh, the text, like, when I played this the first time, I thought like, oh, this is so, like, the dialogue is amazing, and blah blah, and then now, I'm like, mm, the writing could have been a little bit better. At least the dialogue. The plot's fantastic, but anyway. I'm lame. We're just gonna keep the default names. I could be one of- I can't hear you say it in the chat! Ridiculous! 
Nope. I should just get a second mic because you're never going to use chat. It's because you sit right here. <laughs> Another comment on dialogue. Half of the curse words are, like, censored in the game. The other half are not. So, it just, uh, always amused me which ones, or which times something will make it through, and then the rest of the time, the same word will not. So, anyway. yelling at me is, uh, instead of using chat, is my spouse. <laughs> Excuse me, I think I just burped in the mic. <laughs> that um, you see in Midgard if there's some sort of like... Oh! New head can. Um, so, Rufus Shinra, for example, uh, has a guard hound. I should be battling, not talking. Has a guard hound named Dark Nation that you'll see in a later battle. And it's identical to this. Um, so, New head can is born just right now that uh, Shinra has guard hounds throughout Midgar. Bah! That's the thing. Sorry, I will be right back. Alright, cat emergency, not avoided, just under control.
talk to Jessie. She's cool. Just run in circles and boom, 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 boom. Fuck, battle, battle, battle. And then also, I'll use materia as example since we're playing seven here. Um, you could use materia or specific weapons and accessories to draw more random encounters. And so, I'm sometimes tempted with the newer titles and where you can see the enemies before you initiate a battle. Um, sometimes I'm tempted to walk away from them if I'm feeling particularly frustrated, or perhaps it's an enemy that I don't like, or one that I just get tired of fighting. So. Sliding off my head. <laughs> they're not, they're fine, but they feel like it. Ah, dang it. Okay, so later on in the game, if you hold, if you like quickly tap both back buttons, it'll turn you around during a sneak attack, but apparently right now it's locked down. So. Because 
because in reality, every time you would defeat someone in battle, you should just celebrate. You should, you should dance. Oh. Yep, just saved over my last PC game. I have, like, a current game going on PC, PSP, and then also PS1, so... I have no idea where I'm at any point, but I'm playing this for you guys. So... Ah, uh, I can't equip materia yet! Forgetting. I was playing this yesterday on a different device with a different save and I had all this cool stuff that I don't have right now. There's this vlog on Tumblr where this guy has been trying to get to level 99 before this first boss battle here. So, and I've been following and it's taken him almost a year, I think, to get it done, or at least I've been following him for a year. And he's like on level like 96 right now. He's just grinding throughout the reactor. sure that, uh, I don't know if my microphone is picking you up. What? I don't care. Okay, well, your friends are watching this too, you know. Whatever. Scorpion tail was up and totally would have done this awful attack that would have obliterated me. Why what? Ask in the chat so I can hear you! <laughs> level 99 challenge. He's trying to hit level 99 and max out all the stats of Cloud and Barret before ever reaching the first boss. Oh, yeah. Why is he grinding to level 99? Gotcha. Just to do it? as a challenge to see if he could do it before the first boss. So... Ah! That button is in the wrong spot for me. 
Yeah, I would get bored doing that too, but it's been kind of fun to just kind of see his posts because he's got a good sense of humor about it. But yeah, it's just level99challenge.tumblr.com. Eh. Oh. So the first time I played this, I was like, I know, it's taking a year. I know, like I would have, it would have lasted like 10 minutes for me and I'd have been like, yeah, I know, I just want to go through the story. But his commentary has been pretty fun. Uh, so like, the first time I played this, I was like, I only have 10 minutes to get out of here. And now I realize like, I can get out of here in like two, unless I get particularly hit with a lot of enemies. Dun dun. I mean, could you do something like that with Silent Hill? Like, Silent Hill's your favorite, so could you be like, I'm gonna... I don't know, it doesn't have levels, so I don't know. Whatever it is you can do in Silent Hill. So it is possible to be an asshole here, but I will never leave Jesse. No, you wouldn't do that with Silent Hill. Also, these backgrounds are literally just 2D paintings with 3D characters moving about them. So, um, sometimes I try to do something like jump on a ladder or whatever and I'm not in the exact spot the game requires and nothing happens. So... But they're beautifully painted 2D backgrounds. Oh. Oh, you missed 749. <laughs> Just to get to the first boss. Na -na -na -na. Elevator, go up. You've been playing Assassin's Creed, like, pretty steady. And it's huge. Or is it just because there's, like, so much to explore? Yeah, because it's not like doing the same thing over and over, and over again for a year. <laughs> I've been playing this over and over again for 21 years, though. Is that the same thing? I mean, to be honest, I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in the game right now. So, if I'm going through the text too quickly for you to read, I'm sorry. I won't actually start paying attention until I leave Midgar. And this is our first act of terrorism. That's right, you play a terrorist. Monsters? Oh yeah, so uh, once Rufus comes into play, I will be more than happy to tell you why I think he's more of an anti-hero as opposed to uh, a villain. Again, in like 97 when I first played this. <laughs> yeah! Wedge's ass is on fire! Um, so like in 97 when I first played this, I hated Shinra so much. I thought Rufus was terrible. And then I started, like, paying more attention. Again, he's not in this part at all, so I, nobody cares about that. I'll hold on. Reno is Bay. Reno is Rufus's Bay. I cannot catch my own ass on fire. Look at this. I'm in the fire, 
I am fireproof! Do you need to sing a song now? Oh, Loveless, a little bit. Yeah. So, Loveless, that little poster up there, a little bit of trivia. Um, when this first came out, it was just kind of like a thing, like, oh, look at these Loveless posters. And it was just some background design. And then it actually, in Crisis Core, which once I finish this for you guys, I'm gonna try to... Who's deaf? I'll mute the mic and take my headset off long enough to hear... Okay, so in defense of the, uh, the, uh, polygonal character design here, um, I see I got off track. Remind me, Loveless, in a second. Okay. Okay, let's... Yeah. So, in defense of that, this game was huge. Not, I'm, I'm not talking about being popular. I mean, like, it was three discs at the time, and each disc had a shit ton of content um there's no way that they could have fit all the content on it no i'm just playing with them um there's no way they could have fit all the content into the original game um with it being uh looking a little better also um it's kind of a callback to well yes there will be because they're breaking the remake up into three discs or into multiple parts because they can't fit it on one disc today either um also it was also kind of holding on to the original shape and form and uh, familiar character designs from the previous Final Fantasy games 1 through 6 um it's not actually until 8 that you see in game like during gameplay a full like proper character design and it kills me because there's that meme where squall you see squall's face and Renault is like you're the best looking guy here and then you look at his face and uh he's all funky looking yeah so we're not gonna talk about deaths okay we're gonna skip that comment what i was saying about loveless i promise okay stop stop no stop Stop. Okay, stop. Okay. But still. You're I you're missing why I'm saying stop. I have a microphone and you don't. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, but I'm answering you and they're hearing me and I don't know if that's able to pick you up. That's fine. But I'm talking to no, because then it sounds like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> My wife is an asshole who refuses to use the chat properly. I'm gonna just get you your own microphone the next time. Okay. No, I'll just hook you up so you can make. You didn't say what it was. Wink! Anyway, Loveless! Are you done with me? You're so done. Forever and ever. You look like you're just concentrating on clipping your toes. It's because I cut myself with my. Okay, Loveless! I got a kiss! Loveless, um, in the original game, in here, you know, the first time I played it, it was just kind of a thing, and everybody's like, oh, what's that? And then in Crisis Core, in which, once I'm finished with this, if I feel so inclined, and I hope I do, um, I intend wild to play wild for west. you. What? Wild Wild West. What are you, why are you saying Wild Wild West? Loveless. No, uh, that's not what I was talking about. But well, that's why it's familiar. Oh. Um. Well, you interrupted me, so I'm asking what you're saying. Doing it on purpose. Because you're a butthole. Um. Anyway, it becomes a big part of Crisis Core's lore. So, nifty little thing. Okay. Okay. Now, how do we want to play this? 
So, if I'm nice to Aerith, when we get to the Golden Saucer, if you warn her, so you don't really see it in the game, there's no way on in the UI to see what's happening, but there's, um, in the background, it calculates a relationship with different characters. My Twitter's going off. She said, what happened? He's saying hello. Greeting her properly. That will start a conversation. So, um, but basically, the nicer you are to a character, the more likely you'll have a good relationship with them. And then later on, you can have certain events with certain characters over others. Well, when you do that, you go to the default. So I have to be mean to everybody to do that. And I hate doing that because I ship Cloud and Tifa. But I know. I know. Uh, yeah, no. It's Aerith Deck, Cloud and Tifa, Sephiroth and his ego. His ego. No, he doesn't like... He doesn't like waffles. How do you know? Because they're not alien enough? I don't know. He probably eats unborn fetuses or something. Oh, no! Yeah. Um. Anyway. Alright. So, yeah. I'll tell her to get out of here. Cloud? Yes. So, if he said nothing, hey, I would have had the option to buy a flower from her. And then later on, hey! Later on, that would have opened some dialogue, but I've already started building a bad relationship with her. Why? Yes, because I didn't start a conversation. I feel like that's better because he's like, get out of here. No, because the reactor isn't exactly where they are. They're in the slums. The reactor, it covers both, but they're far enough away. They're not affected. But there's not nothing in the. Well but it's. Well it's not going to start a conversation. So later she goes, I remember you. You bought a flower from me. Oh, well, I was thinking that was a nicer No. But now we're going to play this as mean. We're not going to give Aerith much attention. I do, but I really don't know if anybody's hearing you at all. Hi, Red! I just now saw you. Do you need blankets? Our blankets are in the dryer. Because they're dirty. Because the cat got poop on them! And let me know, Red, if you can hear Burb. All of the blankets. Oh. Well, I hope I am entertaining. And Burb. Can you hear Burb? Because Burb keeps talking to me instead of barely him loud. So, see, you have to use the chat. <laughs> I'll just talk louder. <laughs> I've been having a conversation with Burb who hardly uses chat. I'm gonna fight him! If I could bring you one, I would make you a cocktail of your choice, Red. I'm a pretty good mixologist. said that because I said cocktail. So, apparently, Burp thinks cock is your cocktail of choice. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Fight him! <laughs> your Kahlua and coffee is tasty or, uh... <laughs> this channel is not safe for children. <laughs> the other like a milkshake. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. You're my mom. 
Not that I need one, it's just the three of us. <laughs> You're a child? <laughs> that log had a child! Rockin' and rollin' <laughs> Down to the beach I'm strollin' I hate the trash man every day, just so you know. The Noctis is strong with this one! Oh, it's in my head now. The seagulls poke in my head. Not fun! I said seagulls! <clears throat> Stop it now! Yeah, you can pretty much. You can do pretty much whatever you want. <laughs> In my chat. See, that's the advantages of being a little polygonal person. You can stand on top of a train going through a tunnel and not get knocked over. And this is where, if I was Barrett, I would say, good, now I don't have to pay him. And that's my prompto what? Oh, come on. I corrected it! I know! I wouldn't have even caught it if you hadn't corrected it. I had to. You mean Prompto doesn't hate the trash man? Is that what you're saying? Unless you're Prompto. What did you mean by that? You said no. I don't know what I said. I've been making a lot of noise. Um, yeah, well that's why I said that's the, uh, perks of being a polygonal train- or polygonal kid. making a joke! <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I'm so giving you a mic next time! I know, you're so helpful! Cloud! <laughs> they all did it at the same time! <laughs> Wrong with it. 8-bit, he would have been fine. Exactly! If Okay, so, for the PC version, we need to get that, um, that mod that makes them polygonal and make everybody look normal except for Prompto, and then he won't fall off the train! <laughs> Which totally gets rid of episode Prompto, right? And then they just show up and kill the trash man. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> Wrong wizard. It's no big scene, it's what I always do, which is make a scene. And there's one of those random censored swear words. So, you weren't in here and I was making the comment when it was just me in here but myself. Um, some... No, no, I think you were in the bathroom. She was in here. Um, so, sometimes a swear word in this game will be censored. And then the same word that is implied will not be censored the next time it's used. Yeah. However, that one I'm pretty sure meant fuck. So, anyway, yeah, if you really want to follow the plot, just mute me. <laughs> You're the one with the key. Wink! <laughs> Thanks, 
red. Yeah, I when there's like more exciting stuff going on, I will totally break into my character analysis and head cannons and that fun stuff. Are you making noise just to make noise? Or are you trying to be picked up? I know, that's why I'm asking. Grab your brush and put a little makeup. <laughs> oh, we woke up uh, Google on my phone now. It's like I, <laughs> I'm having difficulty hearing you. So, in all my years of uh, RPing Final Fantasy VII, I have never seen anybody write Biggs, Wedge, or Jesse. Weird, because even though they're pretty minor characters, I actually enjoy them and kind of headcanon them as having like this really awesome like sibling dynamic, and they all talk shit about Barrett behind his back because he's so grumpy, which is also dumb because he has no reason. Well, no, he does have a reason to be grumpy. I just kind of think that he's, um, I don't know. We'll wait till we get to his backstory, and then I'll talk about that. See? Jessie's so nice. Look at her. I love her. I also don't think I've ever seen any, uh, anything of her other than her polygonal design. Like, I've never seen fan art. I don't think I've seen, like, a proper character design. So, if anybody out there in the world has one, Red, I'll put you on that. Uh, point it out to me, because I really love Jesse's character. Alright. Burb is having kitten trouble. I think. Is everything okay in kitten land? Huh? Like dirty how? Okay, do we need to take a, a few second break to give the baby a bath with a warm washcloth? Okay. Hang on, Red. I'm gonna be right back. You get to look at this uh, Shinra employee. Be embarrassed forever.
seven uh, kittens. Seven foster kittens means seven afterbirths, means the mom ate seven of those and she's had uh, diarrhea off and on for the past week. And um, that's where I disappeared a little bit ago when uh, Burb was screaming for me. And uh, we had to hose her down. Yeah, so one of the kittens uh, was covered in mom's poop. But he is now clean and back with his mama. Everybody's all cleaned up. The baby bed is clean. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm still making you watch this because I have a cord issue. My headset's like super long, super awesome, super long. And then I trip on the cord and it gets all caught up in itself. And so I have to fix it real quick. Real quick means not quick at all. I'm never prepared for this stuff. Me, who plans everything, is like, I'm gonna stream! And then not be prepared. I'm gonna make a list of things that I've done wrong this time, and then make sure, <laughs> they are a week old today. And then make sure that whenever I pick this up again, that um, it's all done ahead of time. Cord straightened up, cats are, have the poop hose off of them. Um, I know. No, no, she's definitely better. See? We're terrorists. And I'm not just saying that because Shinra says it. Wedge? I think... I don't know, I'll go talk to him because I, I like to talk to everybody. Um, I'll talk to Jessie last, though, because she does some cool stuff. Um. <laughs> Him wants some fuck. the reference. The names of the characters here, Biggs and Wedge, is a Star Wars reference. You caught feelings! <laughs> yes! Star Wars! That's right! These? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Which is funny because, uh, Yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, I think Sid actually started, I want to say, in the fourth game? Because he wasn't in the first one. Um, I'm going to have to look that up. Cause, but yeah, he wasn't in the first one. Um, but I know for sure he's in the fourth one because that's one of my favorite in the series. Yeah. But Biggs and Wedge for sure. Um, and it's funny because I grew up a big fan of Star Wars. And I knew the names, Biggs and Wedge. You don't know who Biggs and Wedge are in Star Wars? Okay, the end of episode one, or I'm sorry, episode five, A New Hope, the very first Star Wars movie, when they blow up the Death Star, they were flying the, the... Yeah, there is usually someone named Highwin. Um, I think Kane was in four. Um, but anyways, yeah, they were part of the rebellion. They fought alongside Luke. The first time he used the force. I do. I understand. But... Oh, my, my stockings are crooked and my wonderful burb is fixing them for me. I have these cute rose stockings on right now. Yeah. Um, Kane Highwind was the first one that I knew again from four, and that's, ooh, I can't wait to play that one again. Final Fantasy IV. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. 
parkour wedge. Um, I shouldn't say why poor wedge. <laughs> I'm always nice to wedge though. I can't be mean to him. I just so what? Later. So I, but I do. I really like the three of them. I just I wish there was more for them than there are. Is there? Part of the main party or anything? You sure can, Wedge. And then Jessie. Because she's awesome. Back at it again. Flashy stuff. And she's standing next to Wedge. He's probably flashing her right now. This was designed in 1997. Um, I was 15. I only picked this up because uh, my best friend in high school was playing it. And she was talking about it constantly. And I'm like, I need to know what the hell she's talking about. And I worked a summer job. Um, and when I got my infant taxes back, I went to Toys R Us of all places. I didn't have a PlayStation at the time, um, but I went to Toys R Us, just for the hell of it, and I ended up picking up the PC version in, like, the triangular box. Uh, you can Google that box. Like, it was a really cool design. Um, I picked it up for, like, I want to say, like, 40 bucks at the time. Um, this neat little, like, clamshell case. It was awesome. And it just completely changed my life. Yeah. So, if not for Sarah, I would have never picked up this game, which means I would have never RP'd it, which means I would have never met my burb. Yeah. So, one of the many reasons why I'm attached to it. Why you giggle? Oh, how different things were for us ten years ago when we met? Yeah, yeah, that's a thing too. We were like, both fed up with writing with other people. So we're like, <laughs> Burp gets this idea that, uh, I'm gonna save this story for when there's not text. And I can stop for a minute, because if not, you guys are gonna be staring at the same text forever. Alright. Like I said, I will turn brain off during Midgar every time. Right? What brain? I love you too, little babies! Give me that nipple. <laughs> In the middle of my street. Sounds like some people I know. <laughs> Sorry guys, gonna have to end the stream right now. I'm lying. I'm kidding. I'm not at a safe point. The, 
yeah. Medgar train. Looks kind of steampunk-ish inside. Now that I'm looking at it. Always be nice to Jesse. No! Yes, it is. They're uh, they're in the slums. Midgar's up here. The slums are down here. The rich people live on top of Midgar. They don't see the sky. Yeah, but when they get out of the train, they're in the dark. It always looks like nighttime there. say he's useless? Oh. Well, yeah, but still, he's afraid of the dark. Stop being bait, Why are you making fun of that baby? Get a fucking flashlight, witch. But he's uh, got equally pointy hair. It's just that his goes up and then comes down. So's Aerith. using here? Is he saying damn? Is he saying fuck? Fucking pizza? Damn pizza? Shitting pizza? It's obviously not bitchin' pizza because that means that he would like it. Heckin'! Red says it's fucking. Maybe he's saying heckin' fucking pizza. I actually really like his design. So you want me to be mean to Tifa? He actually is, but you want me to make it worse with my dialogue choices. That explains it. But the funny thing is, sometimes you'll see, like, ass will be like censored in the game and then the next time it's not I'm sure that comes down to the translator um just like uh there's some dialogue coming up whenever we meet Aerith and she says this guy are sick A-R-E this guy are sick um <laughs> because the translator screwed it up and it somehow got through so yeah so that probably does come down to the translator, but something that I've noticed. Did you break them? Oh, well you said God damn it, and then you threw the. Okay. I'm talking over this when it's supposed to make you feel something about how the planet is dying. Oh no! Because of the goddamn Shinra. But that is one thing that I do appreciate about the game. It um, is kind of a great commentary on capitalism. Oh, 
I'm playing on PC. Uh, this is the PC version of Steam. It's like, I think like 11 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. So if you're looking to pick it up and you got a PC that can run it, it's pretty cheap. I don't have a, uh, like a proper capture card. So, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, so pretty much everything that I do either has to be done on the PS4 or the PC. Do you want to soak your feet? <gasps> you have glittery feet! play works with PS3 um, and I definitely know it doesn't with PS2 so but don't worry I have lots of options to make older games work um, so when I said that I would play Crisis Core I have a way to make that work <laughs> on PC because <laughs> I can't stream from the PSP yay Techiness. Yeah! Um, are, are you seeing me talking about Kingdom Hearts 3? Uh, so I played 1 and 2, but I don't, like, I have a thing with Disney, I don't know, I just don't really get into Disney stuff all that much. So, like, everybody else is, like, super excited over it, and I'm like, I like the Final Fantasy references, but I just can't get into them like everybody else. I enjoyed my plays of the first two, though. I probably won't get three, unless I find it, like, super cheap somewhere, like the GameStop, like, $20 bin or something. But, of course, that'll be, like, when the PS4 is obsolete, right? are gonna soak your feet. Ooh, BLTs. We're supposed to have fajitas for dinner, but that means I have to run to the store. Because we have no um, tortillas or sour cream. And guess who will not eat a tortilla? Or not eat a tortilla. Not eat a fajita without sour cream. Me. Actually, well, Burb's got a spot. Or got things to soak their feet. Probably not this save point, but at a super soon spot, we'll uh, stop. Cheap. Oh. Do what? Dr. Gill's out of office today. Um. I 
mean, there's really not much we can do. He said it's normal. And he didn't write down what it was. because this is not my normal menu button. This one is. And I prefer to use the directional arrow, the directional button, instead of the joystick. Saves twice, because I didn't remember if I actually saved the first time. Quintessential capitalist. Um, oh, Red's BRB. Oh, wait. Okay. Remind me when Red gets back to tell this, to say what I was going to say. And I forgot what I was going to say a minute ago when I was like, I'll hold this conversation for when there's not text. I forgot what it was. <gasps> oh, yeah, our story. But Red's not here. <laughs> Red's BRB. Um,. Yeah. I don't know. So. Let's talk to this kid. Explosions! Explosions! Uh. <laughs> yeah. Make him sound like a bird. Explosions! Explosions! Oh, man! <laughs> What's that? I have no idea how loud I am right now. Oh. Oh, yay, welcome back. Okay, two stories. So I was waiting for you, Red, before I started rambling. Um, I was going to talk about how when Barb and I met over this wonderful game and RPing it. So I had a uh, particularly creepy and irritating um, RP partner who uh, had frustrated me to the point that I was like, fuck this. I need new people to write with and I'm not going to let them know anything about me personally, including my name or what state I live in. They're only going to know the character bullshit, blah, 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 and that's it. Um, at the same time, that worked out. Burb had the same idea. Burb is like, I'm going to, we were on live journal. I don't know if you've ever repeated on live journal, but it was like perfect. I miss live journal in a lot of ways. Um, so, on Live Journal, Burb's like, I'm gonna start a RP community, and it's gonna be Final Fantasy VII based, because I really like Advent Children, I like the game, whatever, and had the same frustrations. And, like, literally, like, what, an hour after you set it all up, I started looking for an RP and was like, oh, hey, look, here's this one. Nobody's claimed Rufus, and nobody's claimed Vincent. Guess what I'm gonna do? So, I shoot Burb a message to get it all started. Burb has the exact same idea. Doesn't want to talk to anybody because their current partner was an asshole. So, we literally had like a 10 minute conversation. And then just about what we wanted to do and the characters we liked or whatever. And just jumped into RP. 
didn't do shit with the community that Burp set up. It was literally just us. And then, I don't know what happened. Like, within two days, we knew all sorts of shit about each other. We're talking on the phone all the time. Now we're married. So, that's our story. <laughs> Yeah, you can keep rubbing my back though, that was nice. Oh! <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do that! <laughs> They're on my headset! <laughs> this is why I don't have a camera! <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it is fairy tale stuff, right? Like, we don't want to know each other's names. We used to. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Car birds of a feather, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, it's fairy tale stuff. Burb is referencing some shit that my toxic former RP partner said, trying to pick a fight. Yeah, um, yeah. I forgot out what else I was talking about. feels really good. I'm getting a head massage right now so like when I'm like don't stop or that feels really good it's because the back of my head is getting rubbed and my hair is getting played with so I promise there's nothing um, that's gonna get us kicked off twitch right now <laughs> I know of because I'd be like stop I'm streaming okay the other thing that I was gonna say I was talking about um stop <laughs> Um, I was talking about, uh, Shinra, because Avalanche was called a terrorist, and, you know, we're talking about people dying and things because of their actions. So, yes, President Shinra is, like, the quintessential capitalist, so he is a villain. He doesn't care about how things affect his people and the people he's supposed to lead. He literally just wants to make money. So his obsession, and I know we haven't got to him yet, but his obsession with the promised land, um, and like, setting up Mako reactors there because it's supposed to be full of, um, Mako energy and everything, is all because he thinks he can make money off of it. So he does this shit to make money. He is a villain. Sephiroth is a villain. He may not think he is, but he is. Um, however, Shinra, once President Shinra is dead, I don't see as a villain. Um, their goals are the same as Avalanche. They want to save the planet from Sephiroth. They just also happen to be targeting Avalanche because they're terrorists too. So from the Shinra's point of view, they're not so great. Um, Rufus has his moment. <coughs> Excuse me, I need water. Do you have your water in here? Oh, I can't get up. I can't get up. Shit, well... <clears throat> excuse me. Rufus has a moment where he says something about ruling with fear. We'll get to that um, later. See, I just want to keep talking about the game and not play it. <gasps> Thank you, my baby! Amazeballs. Um, so he has that. I don't... Oh, Molly. We have diapers. I know. Um, but, uh, he has his moment where he says that. And, yeah, I, re I agree that that's a, a villainous thing. What? What are you talking about? Sorry, I'm reading. Um, he has this moment where he, you know, he, he does say something that's pretty villainous. But all of his actions are the exact opposite. Um, whenever we get to Fort Condor, I, I don't like to do that mission, but when I get there, because it is optional, I will go there and kind of show you what it is. But I'm not going to play the mini minigame. Um, but whenever we get there, uh, remind me, Burb. Are you calling Dr. Gill? I'm going to stop talking for a moment. Listen to the music. 
I know, but I don't want to be in the background rambling in your message. So, oh, you probably could leave a message, you know. Um, but yeah, when I get to Fort Condor, I'll tell you why I hate that mission and um, how it kind of backs up one of my headcanons about Rufus and also plays into the whole Shinra's not a villain, just an anti-hero. Johnny, I know it didn't say his name here, but uh, he's a minor character that you kind of see throughout the series and don't think twice about it. I'm literally just trying to get to the same point. Alright. <laughs> yeah, Burb was uh, calling our vet, um, but she couldn't get through, so I uh, just got quiet for a minute. But yeah, I'll totally, when we get there, because that's outside the Midgard, and I could talk about it now, but if I did, it wouldn't make much sense. You have to actually see what's happening to, to understand. Um, yeah, I just, I really don't think Shinra's, once Rufus takes over, is bad. That being said, Okay, let me rephrase that. Huh? Sorry, I'm oh. Actually, let me rephrase that. Rufus and the Turks are anti heroes. Um, because, uh, yeah, Heidegger, Scarlet, Palmer, <coughs> fucking Hojo. Ew. No! Not like fucking Hojo. Like fucking Hojo! <coughs> oh my god, I can't stop coughing. Um, yeah, they are villains. Okay, so I guess I can't get to the same point yet. Wait, I can! What the hell am I doing? Because we really do have to go pick up stuff at the store. And you talking about BLTs, Red has totally made me hungry. Okay, well we can do that. <laughs> you know she'll eat it. And I can't stop coughing, so... I feel like I should stop talking for a little bit. I think doing that bird voice for a little bit when I was reading for that kid... Totally, like, fucked my voice. Okay. So! I am gonna call it quits for now. I'll probably pick up later after we get back from the store and make dinner. You know what? Fun stuff, because I'm having fun playing and rambling. And, but we have to also take care of Molly. <coughs> so, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>